does the Bible have to say about tithing? How much is tithe? Should Christians pay tithe? If you've ever wondered what the Bible has to say about money, stick around. Hi guys, my name is Justin, and I want to welcome you to That Christian Vlogger, a place where you get to come and join me and experience faith in the first person. Today, we're talking about tithe. As many of you are familiar, the concept of tithe comes from the Old English word teothian, which means one-tenth. It's generally used in Christian circles as a Christian's obligation to pay one-tenth of their income to a church, a ministry, or a pastor. However, if you're like me, you've always wondered why exactly you have to pay your hard-earned money to the church. I remember when I was younger, a lot of times adults would tell me that God owns the cattle of a thousand hills. And I'd always think to myself, well, if God is so wealthy, why is he always trying to dig into to my pocket, why not sell one of those stupid cows instead of asking me for my hard earned money? The Bible teaches something a lot deeper than God sticking out his hand expecting money from you and from me. Through and through, the Bible talks about this concept of stewardship. Psalms 24 says, The earth is the Lord and everything in it, the world is God's, and everything that exists is his. Think about this, what the Bible teaches is that God owns everything. Every bird, every tree, every building, and every sea, everything that the light touches, God owns. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. The other day I was out with my good friend Kyle, and while I always tease Kyle about being a stingy person, the truth is he's a really kind and generous and a very gracious individual. So the other day Kyle and I go out to eat Chipotle for lunch, and he offers to buy me lunch, and, and I'm not the kind of person to turn down a free meal whatsoever. So of course I go hard. I get chips, I get extra salsa, extra guacamole, extra beans and rice, I get the whole thing. And Kyle, he doesn't even bat an eye. So after we finish ordering, we go and sit down and, and we're talking about the good old times, just chatting and having a great time and I see out of the corner of my eye his skinny little hand reaching over towards my food and that's when he asked me he says hey bro can I happen to have one of your chips now I've known Kyle for quite a good amount of time and thankfully he knows that I'm joking but I slap away his hands I said of course not bro get your own chips and it's as those words leave my mouth that I have a new perspective on things how arrogant and how selfish of an individual would I have to be to tell Kyle the guy who paid for my food that he couldn't even have one of my chips sure I might be enjoying every single bite of my burrito I might be enjoying my chips and granted, I really dislike it when people try and steal my food or share my food. Emily, talking to you. But at the end of the day, I recognize that this truly isn't even my burrito. These really aren't even my chips. Kyle was the one who bought these chips. Kyle was the one who bought this burrito for me. And if he wants one or two chips, who am I to stand in the way of that? You see, as Christians, we don't view tithing as God reaching into our pocket, taking some of our hard earned cash. Yes, you might be thinking, but I work so hard for that. I slave at my job 40, 50, 60 plus hours a week. This is my hard earned money. But never forget what Moses writes in Deuteronomy. He writes, remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. We as Christians recognize that God is the provider of everything in our life. And we choose to return a tithe as a token of our gratitude for the goodness that God has given to us. See, to the Christian, tithing is never about the drudgery of duty, but tithing has everything to do with respect for the relationship. Tithing is a great reminder of what truly matters in life. Yes, physical goods might be important. Yes, money is important, but that's not what truly matters in life. For in the words of Jesus, wherever your treasure is, there is your heart. You see, if I value my money and my goods more than I value my relationship with God, it's clear to me that my priorities are mixed up in life. You see, at the end of the day, what God is truly looking for is you. What God wants more than your money is a relationship with you. But some of you might be thinking today, but Justin, how in the world am I gonna make ends meet? It's hard enough as it is. What am I gonna do when I give a tenth of my money to God? Here's what I would tell you. While I truly believe in the value of tithing and I've seen God work in my own life when I'm faithful in this area, I would challenge you if you can't tithe money, then tithe your time. Every single day, set aside 10% of your day for spending time in Bible study, in prayer, but more importantly, spend time every single day trying to go out and serve others, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Because ultimately, what God wants more than your money is you. 
That's it for today, guys. I hope this video has helped you to see tithing in an entirely new light. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe below. Or if you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs down and let me know why in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm that Christian vlogger and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless. Where should someone start if they haven't read much of the Bible? In this video, I talk about how to study the Bible for beginners.